Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning at the Buzz, how many times a day do you think you say Google it? A lot. Mm -hmm. Not only do I say it now, my kids say it I a know, lot. Just Google it. Well, researchers say that you probably do say it a lot. In fact, they think the Internet is now taking the place of our own memory. A new study in the Journal of Science suggests that online search engines are making people more likely to rely on computers to remember things for them. Researchers found that when people were asked questions that they didn't know the answers to, they automatically thought to look up the information and were less likely to remember it if they knew they could look it up again later. I mean, do you find you rely less on just, you know, your inner thoughts and memory well, for things? Thi well, for things that I don't know or don't remember, the yeah. first thing I do is go to the Internet. Do you remember growing up when we had all of our neighbors' cell our telephone numbers? You knew them? Like, I could call all Absolutely. the neighbors. Home. I don't even know, like, my mom's home number anymore. Right. I don't either. Because you just spin through it on your phone. Yeah, just I mean, you don't have to remember anything. You don't. And it's kind of discouraging because it's like, I, for us, I don't think the impact is as real because we've had a couple of decades without the Internet before our kids who have you know, started their lives with it, yeah. you know what I mean? You wonder how it's going to impact them later with their I, memories. I think it's, honestly, I think it has pro, uh, brought out a new form of laziness. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I don't think it has. I know it has. You it, can it, find yeah. term papers online that yeah. people have written. I mean, it's hard it's to convince a kid that they need to know, like, multiplication facts now. Because, right. I mean, why would you need it when the computer does it for you in a half mm -hmm. a second? Yeah, I know. I, know. It, it's, I don't, I'm sure there's ways around it and, and the ways that it'll be... Uh, police, but I was thinking about that the other day, I, you know, college kids, who goes to the library anymore? They walk into their dorm room, yep. they have wireless internet right. capabilities in their room, not to mention the internet capabilities on their phone. I know. And when is the last time you had to go and look up a paper on microfiche? I or, remember, you know, remember that? I would cry. <laughs> I would cry having to scan the yeah, microfiche the old and be like, from 30 years ago. I remember yeah. my brother getting an Encyclopedia Britannica, Britannica set yep. and yeah. like sitting in his room and like Just pulling him down. Yeah. Uh -huh. look, at, look through it all and I mean, I, I don't even, they don't even make them anymore, do Here's they? Here's the other thing though. I mean, a, a, an Encyclopedia Britannica basically gave you all the information like the internet does. But one thing I think that's so cool about the internet that I think is actually a positive is that I think it's piqued people's curiosity to dig deeper and deeper because it is so easy to find to the information right. that you, you like, oh, I want to find out more about this. And then that leads to something right. else. And I don't like, need a doctor. I'll just go on. Exactly. Well, I have dangerous. this today. That is dangerous. No, it yeah. totally is dangerous. We had that but conversation at my house one time. My, my wife and I, I had a pain somewhere. Yeah. And then I had the, I looked like, you know, lower back pain right. could mean heart attack. <laughs> you know, and then I went to the doctor. And, Get the nitro. And the doctor was so funny. He's like, uh, Patrick, the first thing you should do when you're sick is not look on the I internet know. and try yeah. and diagnose yourself because you'll yeah. anything you want to find wrong with you, oh, you'll find it. You right. know, because someone's right. had a stub toe that led to, you know, a catastrophic uh, heart attack. I'm going to name one other positive, too. I think it's great that when you're stumped on something that you can find the answer. Because I can't yeah. tell you how many times I would sit there going, what the heck is that actor's right. name from that movie? <laughs> and you, you know, and you'd sit there and then three days later be like, oh, that's it. Now you can just boop, boop, boop. You I will know? say it makes, it, it has made uh, some folks lazier, but I will say this. I will not lose any more at Trivial Pursuit. No. Because any time there's the end of the table, you can be like, <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> the the answer was is. In the 1952 yeah. Disney movie, blah, blah, blah. You know, anyway, so. Yeah. We're all uh, trying to figure out easier way to do things, Courtney, and you l make your living over there on <laughs> the computer. <laughs> I know, so. imagine that. I do like to use it to find out stuff I don't know. Uh, my friends often tell me I have the memory of an elephant because I'm always talking about uh, memories from years past. So I do like to use my brain for that. But we have some pretty understandable comments about using the internet versus your brain here on the blog. And Jean says, well, since my memory is shot now, I always have to go to Google, but my memory is so bad I often forget why I went to Google in the first place, she said. Joey B said, I definitely use my brain more than the web, but the web is a great tool to keep the brain on track. So here's the poll we're asking all of you today. Do you use the internet more than your memory? A, yes, it's easier to just search online. B, only when I try to remember and can't or C, no, I use my brain more than the web. Got a few comments on our Facebook page today if you're just joining us. And uh, Becky DiStefano says, I use Google every day, then filter through viable sites versus useless information. Emma Love says, every time I don't know something, I say to myself, let me Google that. And Brian Birch said, I guess I'm not the norm. I never say Google it. So there you have it. We will see what you all say in the end of the poll and if you're truthful uh, in those answers. But we're going to